Hi everybody. Um, just thought I'd do a video showing some of the previously parted out and scrapped grain trucks. Uh, just to kind of see um, how my truck started, but this is a 65 C80. So this is a big boy. Uh, it was purchased. This one came. This one came from the same auction that my truck came from, actually. So it last September. We just took this apart a few days ago. Um, the cab is in really good shape here. I'm gonna try try to post it and sell it. Um, but the floors are in excellent condition. The inside is really good. This actually had the factory tachometer dash, which I sold out of their air ride front seat. And this this is a big truck. Um, but that's in pretty good shape. The front end obviously would have to come off to put the half ton front fenders and stuff, but the cab is exactly the same and the doors are too, which the doors aren't the greatest, but they're, they're saveable. Um, so that's, that was what's left from that. So here's the stack of truck frames. So the very bottom one was the uh, C80. Then there's the one above it. That was a 65 C60 that we did last year. And then the very top frame is actually the frame from my truck, the original that was in the very first video that I posted. So that's what's left over of that. So these are stacked up here and they're gonna go to the scrap yard. Um, we try to sell everything else off of it that we can, but that's what's left. So we'll go over here now and show this other. So this, this white truck here is a 71, I believe, C60. And this came from the same auction as well. And we're in the process of pulling it apart. And this cab actually is in a lot better condition than mine was. Um, you can see the doors are better. All these trucks have the rust right there. Even the ones I've seen like in the drier climates, so many of them have that rust right there. It's just the design flaw. This was actually the donor truck for my seat as you can see but i mean the, the floors in this thing are perfect so this would make a great candidate for a, a project just like the one i'm doing if somebody wanted to make an offer on it because we're going to lift this cab off in a couple days and just set it aside here's the engine in this one uh, it's a 366 and this thing ran really really good this was registered like in 2018 so they were using this probably every year um, before we bought it last year but this thing runs really really good I think it's a crate engine that was replaced in here um, but here this is kind of special so this this is the engine that came out of that cab there 65 so this is a 409 and as you can tell by the very distinctive valve cover on there but this is a really cool engine really rare um, that I kind of convinced my dad to, to bid on this truck um, just because of this engine in it just knowing that they were really rare and if you could get it for the right price um, so I could help him hopefully flip it and sell it so um, it does run we actually started it up um, and I got some video of it running a little bit it had a big, big factory air compressor on there that ran off of the engine oil to lubricate it. Um, it actually was liquid cooled through the radiator. It had a cooling line going through it. So it's pretty uh, cool unit. That obviously can just be pulled off and whoever wants this engine obviously would probably tear it down and, and build it back up. It is a truck engine, which I think are just a little bit different than the ones that came in the cars as far as the initial setup they were a little bit lower horsepower but it could be pumped up to be a pretty substantial engine but super rare really cool um, not a lot of these around you see them on ebay for just even the blocks or you know a couple thousand dollars so um, this thing i think is going to be for sale too we're going to get it pressure washed and cleaned up here and probably put on craigslist or maybe ebay so if anybody's interested maybe message me and and uh, we can figure something out, but um, that's it.